Howdy friends, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about Upnor Aquapex water piping. Tips and tricks, ways of installing fittings, best practices, as well as other plumbing that it pairs well with. So what exactly is Upnor Aquapex? Upnor Aquapex, known as HDPE, also known as high density polyethylene. It is extremely flexible. It's very densely put together very versatile when it comes to all types of applications and things you can use this with as well as primary sources of your incoming water in your home business or building the upanor pec system is lead free system unless you're trying to convert this over into an existing system such as a repair or an addition or something it also prides itself for the resilience of how it holds up in extreme weather such as cold and freezing. It's an expandable pipe that contracts and expands under conditions. Now unlike PEX A and B that are usually red and blue and you find them in the big box stores which requires you use like brass or stainless steel barb fittings to go in to put a fitting as well as a crimp band. This is the type of fittings that you're going to need and I'll show you right now. What you're looking at right here is an Upanor plastic 90 half inch 90 that is a 90 bend to use in the Upanor system as well as the plastic bands we'll dry fit this together and i'll show you how this works if you look at this particular fitting there are ribs right here and you've got little notches these are bump stops okay these are things that you need to understand before you get involved with trying to put one of these systems together this right here is a half inch Upanor plastic ring if you look closely, it's just an open area. On the other end, it's rimmed out as a stop. Let me show you how that gets put together. Half inch piece of Upanor Aquapex, and here's your ring. Remember the one end was just clear, the other end had kind of like a bump stop in it. That's gonna go to the outside. You're gonna take this ring and you're gonna push it on there till it seats up inside of there. You can see the inside where that pipe is bumped into there. That is your crimp ring, but we're not using a crimper. Let's get the two out and I'll show you exactly how this works. Now there's different companies that make these kind of tools, your Upanor guns or whatever you want to call them, the PEX tools. This case, we were working with Milwaukee. Let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you how the kit looks. What you see here inside the kit is a recharge battery. And you got three different heads. You're gonna have a half inch, three quarter and one inch. This is a basic residential setup. If you were doing commercial work, you'd get a larger gun with larger heads and stuff like that. This is the battery that Milwaukee gives you. And that's a spare as well as the one that's already in the actual Upanor gun right there. Let's go ahead and take this out and I'll show you how, what we're working with. All right, this is our Milwaukee Upanor gun that's designed for half inch, three quarter, and one inch. All right, it does not have a head on here yet. I'll show you how to put that on. We're gonna pull that trigger and I'll show you the action this thing has. It goes out, comes back in. If you hold it down, it's just continue right one right after another. See that? All right, let me show you what needs to happen before you put the actual head on here. This area of the Upanor gun is considered the expander cone. Now before you decide to put a head on there, which we will, it requires to have grease. And if it runs out of grease or it gets low on grease, this actual machine will start sticking on itself and you'll run into problems. That's why it's always good after this gun has been sitting in the case and you haven't used it for a few days or you used it a lot the last time, make sure to put yourself some expandable cone grease on there. They usually come with the tool or you can go to any authorized Milwaukee dealer that sells these and you'll be able to get yourself a little tube of that. This is how it's applied. And this stuff is like a lithium grease. It's very messy and you get it on your fingers. It's going to be hard to get off. You're going to have to wash it. Just squeeze out a little bit there on the end like I have on my finger. and need to go around that cone and grease it all the way up and down through there. 
This is going to ensure that you have proper action of the expandable head that we're going to put on here so we can install our Upinor fittings. Very messy on the fingers. Make sure you have some sort of rag next to you and even wiping your hands off you're still going to leave a little mark on there so make sure to wash your hands when you're done with this job. Right here is our Upinor Milwaukee brand half inch rapid seal head which we're going to set down on top of the expanded cone and we're going to turn it clockwise until it comes to a point and give it a little tug just like that. Now we're ready to put some fittings on. There's a large user friendly push bar on this particular gun. This whole area here. It also comes with a lock so it's safety and you can push that down. It won't accidentally you know, sit somewhere and something's leaning against it and it's going to end up going off and burn the battery up or causing damage or anything. So remember that piece of pipe that we had? Half inch. That's got that little plastic ring on there. We're going to take our Upanor gun, put it into the end of this, pull our trigger, and watch what happens. At this point, it's ready for a fitting. The thing with this system when you're trying to install fittings onto your pipe is it is time sensitive, meaning that you can't just expand the pipe with a ring and stuff like that and walk away and come back and it's going to work. You have approximately probably about five to eight seconds to install your fitting on there before this thing starts closing back on itself and at that time you're going to end up having to take your gun and re-spread that pipe apart. So let's do this one more time and I'll show you how that 90 fits there the proper way. Okay here's that little half inch 90 I was talking about. It's got little ribs and it's got little stops on there. We need to do is we're going to re-expand this ring and when we slide this in there that needs to be bumped up all the way to that little stop piece on there if not it will not seal all the way here we go on with fitting see that it bumped up right to that end seal. We'll get a nice close up that in just one moment. There you go. See that? All the way up to that stop. If it does not get up to that stop, it will still probably hold in a pinch, but that's not the whole point of this. This is the proper way to install any one of the fittings. They're all set up the same way when it comes to the plastic fittings. You got to make sure to get that all the way on that barb and up to that bump stop to ensure you have a nice seal. Now the biggest thing about working with these plastic fittings is you have to be careful. It's not like gluing CPVC together where you can just, you know, put a street fitting and bounce two 90s right next to each other. They can't do that with this type of product and stuff. Let's say we're going to put another 90 on like right here as close as we could to the other one. Remember something. You have the head of this gun. We don't want to end up cutting this piece of pipe, putting a 90 on here and having that head come through there and bust that plastic fitting because watch what happens to this fitting when you pull that trigger there's a little tongue that comes out watch this is why it's important when you make your cut say you're trying to put another 90 as close as you can to that 90 you take the head of the Ubinor gun it could be half inch three quarter and you kind of see where that head is going to go. We don't want that head jamming up inside of this area here because it will break that plastic fitting that's already been sealed in there. So always make sure to cut your pipe back far enough to accommodate that next fitting without this expandable head being too far in and breaking this existing fitting. All right, let's show you for example. I'm going to cut this piece of pipe. Remember we put that 90 on there. Just cut it off. And that's what you're looking at. Now what we're looking at is how close can we get? Let's take that Upinor gun. See, I still got some room. I could probably cut it up to there. We don't want that head button in there and breaking that plastic. So we're going to take about another quarter to a half inch off there. And then we'll have the closest that we can put two 90s together in this system without it failing. All right, so we did cut it down some. We're going to take our little band 
we're going to squeeze it on that side. That is close as you're going to get. You look at my Upinor head, it can't hit that other end. Let's go ahead and expand that. The head's all the way up here, but it ain't quite close enough to break that plastic. And take our next 90, we'll slide it all the way up to the bump stop. That is as close as you're going to get two 90s together or any fittings together with this type of system. Always remember, leave yourself just that extra little bit. You don't want that head to come up and break that plastic fitting that's set, seated behind those bands. Just like that. Okay, now we've covered a couple small basics of the Upanor Aquapex system and stuff. Showing you how to use the gun, uh, properly applying grease to uh, the gun itself, um, as well as how to put the bands on there and install fittings and what distance you need to keep between fittings so you don't wreck it with the gun. Let's move on to some of the other beneficial things that we can use with this system. All right, let's say we're rolling out to a job. Maybe the customer is putting an addition on the house and we're adding to existing old pipes that are already on location. Or perhaps it's just a general repair and we have to transition that particular pipe system into the new Upanor system. These are the things you need to know. Now, the past 30 years, the entire nation and everywhere has gone through the CPVC era of uh, peop uh, homes and everything being built with CPVC or even old homes at the time being repiped in CPVC. So you're going to find a lot of this type of piping, but we don't want to just all the time go in there. A lot of time this CPVC is so old, it's brittle, it's going to break if you try cutting it, or it's so dirty that you're never going to get cleaned up enough and stuff like that, or vice versa. Well, Upanor has came up with those solutions, such as if we're working on an old CPVC system, they have, which would have your little ribbed area to put your Upanor on, and the back side is a glue fitting for CPVC. This is three quarter size. So if I can cut that old piece of CPVC to make a repair, or if I'm adding on like an addition, we can cut it, glue this fitting in there, and then we can install with our band our new Upanor piping. All right, so in this case, let's say we're showing up to a house and maybe we need to uh, uh, do something at the water meter. Maybe we want to upgrade the piping from an old copper, old stuff from the meter, and we know we're going to be working with three quarter, and let's say this is PVC that we have to hook to the meter itself. Well, how are we going to get that into a PEX? I'll show you. Here's a fitting that has a male brass adapter. This goes to Upanor. This brass will thread up to a scheduled 80 PVC adapter coupling, like so. See that? Just like that with pipe dope and all that stuff and thread tape. This you can keep on and glue it into your PVC or whatever it is and transition that over to Upnor. Brilliant. Now we're talking about CPVC as well as PVC as well as Upinor Aquapex. So this plays well with a lot of other things. Very important to know. In this case, say we're working with a shower valve, okay? And this is coming out of there. You know, this is a brass by CPVC fitting half inch. Well, what we can always do is they make fittings that are female adapters. This is a brass to Upinor, brass to CPVC that will thread in on themselves. Now you're transitioning three different types of materials here. You got brass with Upinor as well as brass into CPVC. Brass, Upinor, CPVC. All of them working smartly and friendly together. Brilliant. All right, last but not least, because we're running out of time here, in a pinch, I know I'm going to get some crap in the comments and people saying, well, real plumbers won't do that, but in the real world, which I live in every day of going to jobs and don't know what you're getting involved with. If you need to, to make a repair, open or PEX will fit a shark bite every single time. Just like that. I don't like having to use these, but there's times when you're in a pinch, you have no other way of doing things. They will work on the open or Aquapex system. All right, real quick. If any of y'all have been thinking about Getting into the Upanor Aquapex system and stuff, of course, like anything new, you're going to have a startup cost. And one of the biggest costs are going to be to invest 
in the gun. This came as a kit. I've had this kit for well over two years. It looks almost brand new. That's because I take care of it. I've seen so many plumbers that have had these kits or these tools and stuff like that and within five or six months they're junk or ruined or they've lost parts just because they get done with the job, they get too lazy, they just throw the gun and the fittings and all that stuff in the back of the van, it rolls around, next thing you know they don't have it anymore. Well, this goes back in after every single install. Every time I use this, everything goes back exactly the same way. I keep maintenance on it, it does not go out in the outdoors and get rained on. I clean the head off so sometimes you got to work with live water or some residual water. Water will get back up here in those little precious metal uh, areas and they'll start rusting. That's why we clean it out every single time. We reinstall new grease and we set everything back to where it needs to be. And these batteries, you want to run them until they're dead. You don't want to like use a job or two and still got two thirds of battery and put it back on the charger. We all know what happens. The battery life will go away much quicker and these are very expensive. Take care of your investment. All right, time to wrap this one up. We're gonna do a real quick review and to let you know, I myself personally have been in the plumbing industry for over 30 years. So I've gone through the copper, I've gone through the CPVC, all the garbs and polybutylene pecs and crap and stuff. And hands down, I'd have to say that the Upanor Aquapec system is one of the best systems that I've been fortunate enough to work with and stuff. And just like everything new, a lot of the old plumbers are like, well, I've always used this and used that and everything. And I, you know, I work with what, what works for me and stuff. Well, time comes and time changes. And the only way to still become relevant in your trade is you have to keep up with what's new and the best systems. Customers are gonna pay the extra amount to do this in their homes and have you install it. As long as you make sure to let them know that they're getting the best stuff that's on the market today. They would rather spend the money now than to have to nickel and dime them to come back and make a bunch of repairs on garbage. So, that being said, got any comments, questions, leave them down below, and don't forget to keep plumbing.